Hi, I'm Carol Flukiger, Associate Professor of Art at Texas Tech University. I'm honored to have been invited to share my art project, Solitude of Selfie. My artwork is at the intersection of painting, first wave feminism, and solar energy. The year 2020 marks the 100th year anniversary of the 19th Amendment and the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, two historic events that have shaped my research. Working with sunlight to expose imagery in my compositions, I think of West Texas as the world's largest light table. It is an additive color landscape, more light than land, more horizon than pavement, more sky than earth. In honor of the 100th year anniversary of the 19th Amendment, 1920 to 2020, I worked on a series of mixed media drawings in response to Elizabeth Cady Stanton's 19th century address, Solitude of Self. Working for suffrage her entire life, Stanton believed this address to be her greatest achievement. For me, this address operates as historically significant and personally profound. I was attracted to Stanton's challenge of solitude. Dangerously close to loneliness, solitude suggests independence and renewal. I gravitated toward the beauty found in Stanton's boldness regarding identity and illumination. In addition to the mixed media drawings for this project, I created an artist workbook. The workbook idea came from a meeting with Women's Rights National Historical Park in Seneca Falls, New York in 2017. I was able to meet with a group of historians at the park to show my portfolio. 75 mixed media compositions contain three layers of information. One layer, Sharpie marker drawings of thrift store objects, a coffee cup, a secondhand shirt, a typewriter, a pair of sunglasses. Second layer, backgrounds that contained Stanton's handwriting. To do this, I digitized Stanton's handwriting and printed it into, the trans into transparency film, which was then positioned onto drawings coated with light-sensitive chemical cyanotype. All is placed in the sun for exposure to light. When rinsed in water, voila, history illuminated. And the third layer consists of numbers and words drawn into each composition. While I struggled with thinking about how to visually respond to Stanton's 33 paragraph address, I decided to reduce it to one word per paragraph. Words like courage, heroism, and educated were selected as well as words like failure, friendless, humiliation, this third layer stood out to the team at Women's Rights National Historical Park. They saw the 72 year struggle for suffrage in my selected words. For example, they knew that friendships dissolved, the originators died before suffrage was attained, protests continued through war, and imprisoned suffragists staged hunger strikes. We had a discussion about how the portfolio of layered compositions operated like a tour around the historic address, much like a visitor tours around the buildings at Women's Rights National Historical Park. This made me think about how an exhibition catalog could be more like a workbook or Citizen Ranger book. The workbook would contain Stanton's original address, my selected words, my drawings, and my reflective writing. Viewers would be invited to pick their own words, draw their own pictures, and write their own narrative as they toured the historic address. This seemed to fit Stanton's own understanding of democracy, which operated like an invitation for her to revise history. As viewers read, write, count, and draw their way around this historic address, they can ask, what is myself? What is my selfie? What is my solitude? Current iterations of this project push toward themes of environment and sustainability, which makes sense. As I live in an environment abundant in sunlight, the world's largest light table, more light than land, more sky than earth, more horizon than pavement. An environment that contains the resources to power both our homes and illuminate our history.